Yeah, come on in. It's good to have you guys on the rotation. Let me see if you did your reading. Tell me about the rush exam. What's it stand for? Rapid ultrasound and shock. And what mnemonic do I prefer? Uh, high map. Yes. Um, because it tells you about your goals for the patient to raise their map, and each letter stands for something in the mnemonic. Nice. And what are those letters? Oh, God. Heart, IVC, Morrison's, aorta, and uh, pulmonary. For pneumothorax. And what are you looking for with each uh, part of the exam? Well, with the heart, LV squeeze. If that's really poor, that could be the cause of hypotension. If it's hyperdynamic, that could suggest volume depletion. Uh, and if you have a dilated RV or something, that could suggest a, a, a massive PE. And I guess the last thing, maybe a pericardial effusion. Yeah, perfect. Uh, and then there's the IVC for I. The dilated would be pointing more toward congestive heart failure, PE, and then flat would be volume down, sepsis, hemorrhage, dehydration. Perfect. Uh, that put us at M, Morrison's, looking for free fluid, that could suggest an injury, um, maybe an ectopic pregnancy, or really any cause of free fluid in the abdomen. And then aorta's triple A, I've got that one down. And pulmonary, mostly pneumothorax. Looks like you guys got it. But you don't have to stop there. You can look for other things like a DVT or other free fluid on the FAST exam, um, other infectious causes. Take a look at the gallbladder. There's a whole lot of other value too. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. What's going on? Oh, hey Brad. Perfect. Let's go take a look at the views. start with some gel in the epigastrum. Let's take a look at the heart first. I have my probe marker to the patient's right. You're going right up under the xiphoid, pushing hard, quite flat. If the patient can help you, they can take a deep breath and that'll move the heart down close to the probe. Again, you're looking at squeeze. Is it hyperdynamic? Is it normal? Is it severely depressed? Those are the main categories. And then we'll go to the IVC. For the IVC, I have my probe marker pointed up. I'm just a little bit of right of midline, and I'm angled up towards the patient's heart. That'll give me a good view of the IVC heading into the right atrium. I'm mostly looking, is it dilated, is it flat, or is it somewhere in between? As for Morrison's, take a look over on the right upper quadrant. I like to have the probe a little bit oblique to try to sneak in between the ribs. I'll kind of fan through Morrison's. Paying real close attention to the tip of the liver, looking for a black stripe or any signs of free fluid. As for the aorta, uh, curvilinear probe again, markers pointed to the patient's right, center of the abdomen. I'm pushing gentle, steady pressure to get the bowels out of the way. I'll see the vertebral body, the IVC, and the aorta. Once I find the aorta, I can slide the probe down and up the abdomen, trying to get as high up as possible. And once I get down to the umbilicus, I can tilt the probe down and see the bifurcation of the aorta. For pulmonary on the high map exam or rush exam, I usually will just set the probe at the apex of the lung, perpendicular to the ribs, looking at the rib shadows. I'm looking for sliding of the lungs. look at both sides, again perpendicular to the ribs. Hey Susan, I'm gonna go 
gonna close my eyes in the call room for a little bit. Why don't you uh, call me if anything uh, comes in? I sure will. All right, let's hope it's a quiet night, okay? We'll hope for the oh, best. You know what, though? There is an international dance festival across the river. All Let's right. Cross our fingers. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Okay, thanks. Hey, this is Mike. Oh, wow. Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Oh, hey, hi. Susan. Hi, I'm glad you're here because we just put three hypotensive patients in rooms six, seven, and eight. Oh, okay. Let me get the ultrasound machine. Okay. Hey there, I'm Dr. Pizzo D. What brings you to the ER today? No English. No English? Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, let's see if ultrasound help us here. I'm going to start with the heart. Okay, that's squeezing pretty good. That's definitely not the problem. IVC. Looks like we have normal collapsibility. Let's move over to Morrison's. No fluid in Morrison's. That looks good. Aorta seems pretty unlikely in this young guy. We'll take a look anyways. Running down the aorta. Pretty normal looking aorta. All the way to the bifurcation. All right, P pneumothorax. Let's take a look here. Oh yeah. No lung sliding at all on that side. Looking good over there. In the setting of hypotension, that almost certainly means tension pneumo. Let's prep for a chest tube, get them fixed up. Hey there, I'm Dr. Pizzo D. What brings you into the ER tonight? Shannon. What's that? Okay, that's not going to be real helpful. Let's see if ultrasound can help us here. I'm going to start with the high map protocol. Start out with the heart. Oh wow, right off the bat. Big pericardial effusion. Right ventricle is pretty collapsed. Take a look at the IVC. And that's pretty dilated. I think we probably know what's going on, but let's finish it out. Quick look at Morrison's. No pre-fluid in Morrison's pouch. Look at the aorta. Real normal looking aorta. Real quick look at the lungs for pneumothorax. Yep, great sliding there. Other side. Good sliding also. So we have pericardial fusion and tamponade. Let's prep for a pericardial synthesis, get some aggressive fluids going. Hi there, I'm Dr. Pizzo D. What brings you in tonight? No English. No English, oh boy. All right, well, let's see what ultrasound can tell us here. We're gonna use the high map again. We'll start with the heart. That is a hyperdynamic heart. LV is squeezing real strongly. Let's take a look at the IVC. That IVC is completely flat. This looks like a volume issue. Not sure why, but let's go to Morrison's here. No free fluid over in Morrison's. Let's take a look at the aorta. Look at the lungs. Now that's super easy. Great sliding on that side. And same thing over there. Yep, this is definitely a volume issue. Oh, wait a minute, that's right. She had a fever of 103. Yeah, this is sepsis.
Let's get some aggressive fluids going, early antibiotics. There's. Um, Dr. Mike, there's two more. You, you wouldn't believe it, there's two more. Two more hypotensives, right in two and three. Hey there, I'm Dr. Pizzo D. What brings you to the ER tonight? No English. No English, so oh, that's not good. That seems to be the theme of my night. But let's see what ultrasound can show us here. We're gonna use the high map again. Okay, let's start with the heart. Well, right off the bat, I can tell that's not squeezing well at all. The left ventricle has a severely depressed ejection fraction, maybe 10% or so. My guess is that's the problem, but let's continue on. IBC. Yep, that's dilated without much respiratory variation at all. Well, this looks like it's almost certainly the heart causing the hypotension. We'll slow down those fluids. We'll start a presser. See if we can make her feel better here. Hello, sir. I'm Dr. Pizzo D. What brings you to the ER tonight? Okay. Okay. Not getting much from you. Let's see if ultrasound can help. We'll start with the high map protocol again. First, take a look at the heart. Uh, heart's looking fine. Squeezing pretty good. Quick look at the IVC. IVC is actually pretty flat. Hmm. Morrison's. Uh, no free fluid in Morrison's pouch. Look at the aorta. Oh wow. That's a big triple A. We might have our cause here. Oh, take a look, long axis too. Okay. So we've got a triple A. We'll call CT. Get a quick belly CT. I'll call for some blood. We'll get those IV fluids going fast. I'm Dr. Pizzo D. What brings you to the ER tonight? No English. No That's not good. Okay. Well, let's see if we can use ultrasound to figure out what's going on here. We're going to go to the high map again. Heart is hyperdynamic, contracting real vigorously. Hmm. Let's see the IVC. The IVC is totally flat. There's a volume problem here. Let's look in Morrison's pouch. Oh wow. There's a big stripe of free fluid there. That's never normal in a young woman. All right, free fluid in the abdomen, that's ectopic until proven otherwise. Let's call for blood, get some IV fluids going. I'm going to page OB. Hey there, I'm Dr. Pizzo D. What brings you to the ER tonight? No English. High map protocol. We'll start with your heart. Okay, RV is dilated. Septum is bowing towards the LV. That's not normal in a young, healthy person. Let's look at the IVC. Super dilated. So we've got a dilated RV with a very plump IVC. This sounds a lot like a PE. Let's get some TPA ready, send him off to CT and get a quick scan of his chest. Hey Dr. 
your mic. Um, you forgot your stethoscope in the call room. Oh, you don't say. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thanks, Susan. You're welcome. Oh, and one other thing you can stop. 